I mean, what is there better than to just wipe the board where there's a bajillion scooty boys on the field, right? Right? Nothing, I tell you. Nothing. Oh, boom! The machine gun is back! What up, brothers and sisters, and welcome to MTG Malone with me, Matches Malone. Thank you also very, very freaking much for tuning in. I am pre recording these videos already for a Christmas because I will be leaving my family. So if you see me looking the same for the next two to three days, don't you worry about it. There's a real good reason. If you're a new patron or a new member and you're waiting for your shout out, well, it could be that it is one day late, like today. Like yesterday, I got a new patron member. And uh, yeah, I couldn't shout them out until now. So welcome to our ranks, a new freaking gold span dragon, Joe Traveler. Thank you so very freaking much for supporting the channel with your hard earned cash. You even went out of your way to send me a message to say that you normally don't support anyone with your hard earned cash. And using that phrase, that was amazing. So thank you so very freaking much. But enough with the yammering. Let's get into the landfall burn hammering. This is one of my favorite decks ever, and I adapted it to be even more freaking amazing. Because it got two new cards that just make it so much better. So much freaking better. Let's go over the first one, real quick, because that is the one that we need to talk most about. Saddle the Wilds. You seek a basic land card and put it onto the battlefield tapped. You don't know what color it will be, but you put it onto the battlefield tapped. And then you seek a permanent card with mana value equal to the number of lands you control. So if you just do this turn 3, you will absolutely get a Binding of the Old Gods. If you do this turn 5, you will always get an Ashaya. Uh, turn 4, you will always get an Ashaya. If you do it turn 5, you will either get an Ancient Green Warden or a Maroc. And if you do it later, you just get the land. You get nothing out of it, Jon Snow. Nothing, I tell you. So yeah, that is, uh, that is all there is to. Saddle the Wilds. Why do we have it in here? Well, because we're a landfall deck that uses the Scooty Boy to make as many Scooties as we can. Together with the Prosperous Innkeeper, that will give us a bajillion freaking life. And we're using the Lotus Cobra to make ourselves as much mana as we can, as freaking fast as freaking possible. So that is very good. But how do we win? Well, we have a lot of win cons. We have three win cons in this deck, actually. The first one is a Valakut Exploration. We will just shoot our opponent with the Valakut Exploration. Whenever land enters the battlefield under your control, you exile the top card of your library. Then uh, you may play that card for as long as it remains exiled. And at the beginning of your end step, you throw those cards in your freaking graveyard. And then the Valakut Exploration deals damage equal to the number of cards thrown away that way. So that means, if you, for example, sacrifice your Revolving Wilds in your opponent's end step, now you get the trigger, but those cards will stay exiled until the end of your turn. So you can still freaking use them during your turn. And if it's a land, you can use the land. So that is very nice, especially with the Ancient Green Warden, because you may play lands from your graveyard. So if you throw away lands, or you want to use your Evolving Wilds in your Field of Ruin, go ahead, you can do so. And all of your landfall abilities trigger twice. Not only once, twice. That means if you have a Scooty Boy on the field and you play land, now for every Scooty Boy, you get two freaking triggers. Same with the Valakut Exploration. You get two freaking triggers, and that is just very nice. So that is our first win con. Pretty freaking obvious. The second win con is a Maroc Fury of a Coom. When we have a million Scoot Swarms, we just attack in. All of them now have plus one, plus O oh for each time they attacked in. And whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, if it is your main phase, there's an additional combat phase after this phase. And you untap all of your freaking creatures. All of them. That means that if you have like 10 Scooty Boys on the field and they have like 5 blockers, now they block the first 5, the other ones get through, maybe you destroy them, and now you attack in once more because you play the land, you get more Scoot Swarms, you get more everything, it is just freaking amazing. Now you can destroy the rest of the creatures, but you still get all of your Scoot Swarms back. So, and if you have your Ancient Green Warden out, it even triggers twice. And your Shia is in here because it makes all of your creatures become land. So the moment you play the Maroc, it already triggers itself if you have the Shia on the field. 
And then you play whatever other creature or land and it triggers once more. It is just freaking delicious. So all of your creatures will be lands. So things that cannot target lands are freaking screwed. They cannot do anything about it. And that is very, very freaking nice. So what is our last win con? Well, you might have already seen it in the title. The freaking Brushstroke Meat Hook Massacre Machine Gun. We get ourselves a Blood Artist with a Brushstroke. We get ourselves a bajillion little Scoot Swarms. And then we just Meat Hook Massacre. We don't even need the Brushstroke. It is just a security measure, you know? If they have a board wipe and you have a Scoot Swarm army out, a Scoot Swarmy as they call it, they're done so. They will get drained so hard. They don't even know where their head will be. And together with the Meat Hook Massacre, if you have like 20 Scoot Swarms on the field, you just use the Meat Hook Massacre. That is it. That is game over. You drain them for 20 right freaking away. Just shoot them in their face like there is no tomorrow. So, what is the rest of the deck? Well, we have three Deadly Disputes, so we can sacrifice our Blood Artist, uh, not our Blood Artist, our Blood Tokens. Draw two cards, we can also sacrifice like Scooty Boys to the Deadly Dispute, very nice, just for some additional card draw. With the Binding of the Old Gods, it destroys their Sanguine Brushstroke or Meatok Massacre, which is very important if you want to drain them with the Meatok Massacre. Getting rid of it, very, very important. And this also gets rid of everything else. But it cannot destroy your Shias, don't never freaking forget. Then you even get a land, which will trigger your Scoot Swarps, which will trigger your Akum, which will trigger your... Uh, Lotus Cobra and your Valakut Exploration. So the Binding of the Old Gods is very nice. And that is also the reason why we're playing the Highland Forest and the Woodland Chasm. Because this can search out any kind of forest. And those are forests. So it is very, very nice to have. Easy peasy. This deck is super fun. And it's one of my favorite freaking archetypes. And one of my favorite colors to play. Landwise. We have five swamps. We have one mountain. We have four forests. Two Haunted Ridge, two Dark Boar Pathways. We have the Woodland Chasm, we have the Highland Forest and the Rockfall Vale. We have two Evolving Wilds and two Field of Ruin. That is all you need. The Field of Ruin is of course very important. And if you like in end of step destroy something of their main la man lands or some of their non-basic lands, it triggers the Scoot Swarm, it triggers the Balakut. And if you do it during your turn, it triggers the Maroc. And of course the Evolving Wilds, just very important, you know. Because with this kind of deck, it gives you two triggers. And if your Ancient Greed Warden is on the field, you can play it from your graveyard. So there's no harm. There is no freaking harm. Playing lands from your graveyard is freaking amazing. Also having a reach creature here is very, very freaking good. So yeah, this is Burn It All to Hell. I'm Matches Malone and I will see you in those machine gun games. The thing is, always have a million win cons in your deck. We're up against Scion, a Lion, and Scion. I don't know words. All right, we're going first. I like it. I like it. Like, uh, we don't have the other colors yet, but we do have a Field of Ruin. We do have a Settle the Wilds. And we're up against another Drain deck. Okay. All righty. Oh, freaking righty. But, I mean, we have a lot of Binding of the Old Gods, so we can get rid of their Drainage. As soon as we need to. As soon as we do. And with the Saddle the Wilds, that is exactly what we will do. Alright, we even have two here now. That is extraordinarily good. And a Red Source on the field. So if we find another land, we can even get a Maroc into our hand real freaking quick. Oh, it's zombies. It is zombies. Alright, it is zombies. Good. Good. Kind of good. I mean, we will just destroy this Headless Rider very soon. Okay, so we didn't find a land, but we do have the Ashaya now. One, two, three, four, five, then we can even play. I mean, they might have a removal, but hey, what am I supposed to do about it? All right, of course they have two. Of course they have two. Like, come on, game. Come on. All righty. So we're going with the Ashaya here. If they don't have the removal, that's good. If they do have the removal, well, we do have another Ashaya, you know? And we have all the, like, what is this hand right now? Look at our hand. Like, I didn't even realize that. I mean, I drew one, okay. That is true. I did. But come on for the rest. <laughs> That's just crazy. That is just crazy. Okay, they're seriously going with the Headless Rider move here. So that over time means that we might get them very good. Very, very good. So they will make themselves two Zombos here. But that is alright. Okay. 
Like, how are we doing this? Oh, they're just sacking. Okay. All right. Good. Go ahead. Sack it all. Sack it all. I can just get rid of this now. That is super good for me. Super freaking good for me. I cannot do this right now, can I? Now I have to do this. Because I still need the blockers. I can't just go around and not block here. And not finding a land here was very painful. But we still have the Meadow Massacre for later. And we can get ourselves... Are you kidding me? Come on. Like, seriously. Like, freaking seriously. There is three Atlas Riders in the first 47 cards. Uh, in the first 13 cards. That is a little much, you know? Just a little freaking much. So we're getting ourselves the Black Source here. We're putting down the Scooty Boy now. Cannot do this, can we? No, we can't. We can't. But I still will. It will give me more Scooty Boys. And that is all I care about right now. So let us just hope that they don't have, like, hardcore removal here. That would be good. That would be real good. Like, because we do have hardcore removal, you know? We do have it. Alright, so, what are you bringing to the table here? What is it that you're bringing to the table? I mean... Yeah, it's not looking too good right now. So we're doing this, we're doing this, we're doing this. They can't have the two here. That is it. Only two. They will only make themselves one more headless rider here. And that is very nice. And then uh, we can go with the Meadow Massacring. Is this an instant? It is. It is. But those are tokens. So it's all good. It is all freaking A-OK -okay still. And I just have to find a land here. Perfect. Freaking perfection. Alright. We're going with the Ancient Green Warden first. That will make us two lands. That will make us a bajillion Scooty Boys. Oh, maybe we even get him here. Let me do the math. Let me do the freaking math. I think we get him here. All we've got to do is to slam down the Scooty Boys. Yes. <laughs> oh, my lord. Let me do the math once more. Just one more time. Do we have 20? Do we have... Yeah, yeah, we do. We do have 20. We do have 20. Look at him go. Look at him go. They're doing everything manually. That is so, like, crazy to me. <laughs> okay. So... I mean, what is there better than to just wipe the board where there's a bajillion Scooty Boys on the field, right? Right? Nothing, I tell you. Nothing. Oh, boom! The machine gun is back! Oh, delicious! Look at them go! Mmm! Mmm! So good! So everything I want it to be! Get out of here, three headless riders in the first 13 cards! Get out of here! So now that we got the Scooty Swarm machine gun to work one single time, video is over. <laughs> I have done enough. <laughs> oh man, the Scoot Swarm machine gun is always a pleasure to see. We're up against Devi Opions. Dev 10P Tenons. Tenons. Alright, I mean, we do have the Lotus Cobra, we do have the Prosper Rouse. So let us just see what is our next draw. But we have mana here to do stuff, you know? We do have it. And depending if we find a land here, I will go either with the Prosperous or with the Lotus Cobra. Alright, so. Once more, Arena not ceasing to amaze me. Oh, you beat one zombie deck, here's another one. Oh, maybe it isn't a zombie deck, we will have to find out. But in this situation, I think I'm going with the Prosperous Innkeeper. It is not. It is not. All right, all freaking right. Yeah, I have to go with the Prosperous Innkeeper here. Sadly, but yeah, I have to. I hope that we find a non-tapped land here, so that I can get rid of the Slaughter Specialist right away, because that one is really freaking annoying. Like, seriously annoying. All right, we have to take the hit here. Nothing we can do about it. Maybe they also just wiped the board here. Like, bring down a good old Meatok Massacre right away. Would push the Slaughter Specialist real good, you know? Really, really good. Okay, it's just a Night Witch. That is alright. 
Oh, we didn't find it. Did not freaking find it. We kind of have to do this now. Gaining some life, though. That is nice. Go with the Lotus Cobra here. Alright, making ourselves a black. Making ourselves another black. It doesn't really matter. I mean, we would get the... Oh, I should have got... I was just thinking in my head black and I got the wrong land. Like, totally the wrong freaking land. Okay. I mean, we still do have the Binding of the Old Gods later. For the turn afterwards. Should have got myself a green. Well, we still do have a green here, so it's all okay. It is all freaking A-OK. -okay. Good, good, good. Oh my lord, I just messed up there a little bit. <laughs> Only a little bit, though. Only a freaking little bit. So, the Saddle Wilds here is also pretty nice. It will give us, like... What will it even give us? Depending on when we play it. But we have to play it like after we play the green source because we only have one here. So it might give us a uh, ancient green warden, which is pretty good. Ancient green warden would be nice here. So if they just wipe the board here with a Metog Massacre, that is kind of all right. We'll take a little beating, but that is still okay. We will, we will make a comeback. Don't you worry about it. Don't you worry about it. Are you sacking your right twitch here? So the Binding of the Old Gods is also very nice. Yeah, I kind of expected it. Kind of did. So this will become a 5 mana here. Alright, a 5 power. There, eye twitching, what will you get yourself? I mean, we still do have the Binding, so it's all good, you know? It's still A-OK. -okay. Oh, they just have another eye twitch, alright, alright. But we are only taking 5 here, and that is fine. I, I can I can take a hit here. And I will just get rid of their biggest threat. And then sooner or later we will find our own stuff, you know? Just find it and be happy about it. I still wish we still had our, uh, our uh, Prosperous Innkeeper to gain some life back. Because this will get very dangerous very freaking soon. Very soon. Okay. Oh, the Ancient Green Warden is pretty freaking nice here. So we're going for this, of course. And if we're going for the Ashaya. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we're totally going for the Ashaya here. Totally going for it. Like, maybe they do have a board wipe. Maybe they do. Which would be annoying as freaking heck. But they still need a board wipe, you know? Or a removal. Okay, they have the removal right away. They just have the removal right away. Oh, painful. Come on, don't you have it? Don't you have it? They really have everything. They really have freaking everything. It's crazy. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Now I really need a land. Now I really do. But I will have two ancient green wardens, so it's still A-OK, -okay, you know? And they don't really have stuff here. They only have one card left. I wonder what it is. I really freaking wonder what it is. Okay, so next turn we're playing the Ancient Green Warden. If they're getting rid of a land here, so be it. I will get myself another Red Source. It doesn't really matter too much. Not in the slightest. All right, Red Source activated. So what is your last card, my friend? Do you really have it all? I mean, I'm down to six life. That is very, very bad. Oh, come on. Do you really just... In... Incredible. There was our last red source here. There was the last one. Incredible. So Maroc will take some time until it can activate. But that is okay. That is all good. We have the lands for uh, for the for the uh, ancient green warden here. And we will go for it. Okay, they have nothing. They have freaking nothing. Alright. So we're going with the Highland Forest. We will keep our uh, evolving wilds here for later. So all these lands they sacrificed, what good did it do to them? Nothing, I tell you. Nothing. So, Sanguine Brushstroke activated. Scooty Boy activated. Evolving Wilds, go on. Do your thing. Do your dirty, dirty thing. So, now if they want to wipe the board, are they going to pay dearly for it? Freaking dearly. Oh, yes. And next turn, I will just slam him with the Maroc. That is what I will do. I will slam down the Maroc, play two Evolving Wilds. Mmm. Yes. Absolutely freaking lutely yes. 
So go, uh, go ahead. Wipe the board, my friend. Wipe it. Bring back your slaughter specialist. I will drain you for so much. Oh, it's going to be delicious. I will get so much freaking life back. Oh, yes, I will. Yeah, I was kind of waiting for that, you know? I kind of knew you had it. Kind of knew. So I want to keep everything I have here. I mean, I have another ancient green warden, so it's all good. It is all freaking good. So they will be bringing back the slaughter specialist, but that is all they have. And I will still drain him for so freaking much. Oh, yes. 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 What? They're going with the eye twitch? Okay. All right. All right. Oh, no. The clicking here is so annoying. So freaking annoying. All right. Oh, my lord. <laughs> Their meat hook machine gun also just went off. Like a Tommy gun. To our face. Straight to the dome. Rock a microphone. Freestyler. Resolve. All right. They're gaining a lot of life. Oh, I can just push the button here. Okay. So, they're back to 23 life. But that is all right. We're back to 16 life, which is also very importante. Oh, are you seriously going with Stangwine Brushstroke here? So are we getting rid of something? No, they can have it. They can have it. Make yourself... Oh, they don't even get the pest. Okay. They don't even freaking get the pest. Alrighty. And we're going with the Valakut exploration here. So next turn we're playing the Ashaya. And uh, then we will slowly but surely drain him with the Valakut exploration. Oh, did you really find it? Did you really find it? Unbelievable. This is just a kind of freaking unbelievable. A top deck eaten alive. Just a top deck eaten alive. Holy moly. Yeah. Nice. Very nice. All right. I mean, we still do have cards in our deck. It's not like we don't have them. And they can't even play this? Oh, come on. Come the freaking heck on. All right. So what are we getting ourselves here? The Saddle the Wilds, not real useful. The Highland Forest, also not real useful. But we will still shoot him for two here, you know? And that is good. The next turn we play the Mirage. Like, they will be attacking in here, I'm pretty sure. Pretty freaking sure. Did they really find another freaking amazing top deck? I'm, I'm just waiting for it, you know? Like, the chances are endless. Like, I'm pretty sure they just have another freaking amazing top deck. Like, why shouldn't they? Why freaking shouldn't they? My turn? Good! Oh my, the Metok Massacre here is very, very nice. But let us see what we can get here. Maroc's on the field. Alrighty, alrighty. Valakuting good in the neighborhood. And, uh, yeah, we still have enough cards in our freaking library for everything, so it's all freaking A-OK. -okay. Good, good. So we're now attacking in there. They have to block. We should have some more, like, combat phases after this. Alright. We get another combat phase. Losing one life is okay here. Alright. Good, we're getting another one. Just another one. And we will see what they have here. We will freaking see. Should have gone with the Meat Hook Massacre, to be honest. But it doesn't concern me. I will just, you know, shoot him down now. One and two. All right. So, did you find perfect everything once more? Oh, they have another freaking board wipe here, don't they? Here it comes, another blood on the snow. Their top decks are so crazy good. So crazy good. It's incredible. It's improbable even. Even freaking improbable, you know? Just... Holy moly. Eaten alive into freaking Metok Massacre. Like, get out of here, game. Get freaking out of here. Holy smokes. Holy smokes is all I can say here. All I can say. Like, get out of here, game. Like, you know, they found nine lands, and then from then on out, everything they had was perfection. Freaking perfection. So we have 26 cards left. We lost all of our good stuff. They still have a card in hand, which I really don't like. Alright, but we're going with the Evolving Wilds here. Very good. Very nice. 
And we'll trigger the Valakut. Another Evolving Wilds. And the Binding of the Old Gods. Oh, jeez, yes. Freaking yes. Okay. So, we keep our Evolving Wilds for now. So that we can, you know, shoot them with, we, like, with, our, uh, with our stuff. Let us just see what they have. Maybe another freaking uh, Meat Hook Massacre or something like that. Go ahead. Go ahead. I wouldn't be surprised at all. Not in the slightest. Not in the slightest. We're gaining a land here. We're gaining land here. We can't attack in. I just wonder what their last freaking card is. Maybe it's just the land. Who knows? I hope we still have lands. Oh my. Yeah, we have to go with the swamp here. So that we can get a forest out of this. The Lotus Cobra. And another Mitoka Massacre. Okay. So, last freaking forest here. And last freaking basic land. Another Mitoka Massacre. And a Sanguine Brush Stroke. Oh, yes, baby. Oh, did we get him here? Did we freaking get him here? I think we did. Oh, we got him. All of your top decks did not help you at all in the end. Not at freaking all. Oh, mmm. Another freaking machine gun massacre. Get freaking screwed, my friend. Get screwed. All right. So first you do all the clicking because this is no automatic gun. The blood artist triggers everything by itself. Boom. 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 And now... Get out of here. With the crazy top decks of the century over and over again. I prevailed. I gotcha. Mono Black, get out of here. Mmm. Did they really think they could beat the master of Mono Black? With Mono Black, none of their top decks were enough. Exia fan. Holy smokes, like their game was so crazy good. Mmm. We're going first, eh? Yeah, we cannot keep this hand. Oh, this is way better. This is way freaking better. Hello? Hello? Do we go with the rat here? Snow-covered plane. Could be anything. But I'm pretty sure that it is angels. I'm pretty sure it is. So. Can we drain them forever? Yeah, I ate it totally. Oh, it's maybe not. Maybe it isn't. We're attacking in. Maybe they want to get rid of the Prosper House. They do not. Okay. So we still have the treasure for the Deadly Dispute. So it's all good. And now we will also start generating value. That is just so uncalled for, my friend. Just so freaking uncalled for. Alright. So how many more do you have, though? How many more? We will have to find out. Just freaking find out. Alright. Alright. So the Valakut Exploration Gone is very painful, but we can draw two cards here with the uh, Blood Token. So that is already very nice. And I think I will, I mean, I'm... Oh, they're missing mana, that is what you get for destroying my freaking Valakut Exploration. Get out of here! Totally deserved. Totally freaking deserved. But once they find the mana, it's going to be dangerous, so we really, really need answers here. Please not Lance, please not Lance. Oh, it's one land, but that is still okay. Are you kidding me? You really have two vanishing verses, just like that. Just like that. Alrighty, well, have your two vanishing verses. That was very, very freaking uncalled for. Freaking uncalled for. Are we doing this yet? No, I don't think so. I don't think we are. We're just getting in there for some damage. Our Scooty Boy will still be there one day. So, get missing land drop still. Do it. Have them all miss. All right. Very nice. Very nice. Discard a card. Let me see what you're playing. Let me see. Axiafan. Two vanishing verses. Like, oh, come on, game. I know I need lands, but there is a limit. There's a freaking limit, you know? Just a small little limit. Like, how could we have already seven lands in the first 13 cards once more? That is just bananas. Just freaking bananas. Alright. 
Like losing our... That was the painful part, you know? Losing the, uh... Where is it? The blood artist. And a scoop! Get screwed, man! Get screwed! That is the punishment for always having everything doubly in the starting end. Like, come on, get out of here, game. Get out of here. Nothing can stop me today. Nothing. Oh, no, why did I say that? Now I will be stopped in the most horrible way. Oh, no. Oh, no. I mean, it was just typical magic. One of us finds only lands and the other one finds no lands. Perfect. Opponent's going first. But I mean, look at our hand. It is perfection. It is freaking perfection. Like, I can go with an Evolving Wilds first. Oh, I really like these Decathlon sleeves. I forgot who this is. Oh, it's Mono Green. Okay. But we get enough life for, uh, you know, for that matter. Alright, they're not doing anything. Maybe they're bringing down all the and Pack Leader. Okay. Oh, we even got a second one. That is so good. That will give us so much freaking life. So we're going there directly. I, I don't want to wait around. I know, I know. All of you hardcore players down there, out there, were like, Oh no, you could not crack it right away. What did you do? The ranger class. I mean, we're still not in danger. We're still not in ranger, you know. In ranger danger. And we're drawing a lot of freaking land here. So that is good because we want it. You know, we want it all for a scooty boy. So, we will take some damage here, yes. But once we play the scooty boy on the field, together with an evolving wilds, oh, we will get some stuff, you know? We will freaking get it. So, they will only attack in with this, yeah. I knew it. I knew it! Good! Alright, we even have the Ashaya now. That is, oh, so good. So freaking good. So insanely freaking good. And we will freaking play the Ashaya next turn right away. Like right away. Into a freaking Scooty Boy even. Oh yes. Yes. So we will take a little beating here. But only once. And then we will start making a lot of freaking life. A lot of freaking life. So this is uh, 10. 10 damage. Oh, they have the wolf that uh, gets bigger and bigger the longer it st stays, uh, you know, in stasis. I, I don't know why I said stasis. Oasis. Alrighty. So, we're only taking eight here. That is so good. That is honestly so freaking good. Alrighty. We're going with the Ashaya. Wait, wait. How are we doing this? Is there a better way? I mean, your Shia is pretty big already, you know? Just pretty freaking big already. If we go with the Lotus Cobra here, Lady Evolving Wilds, the Lotus Cobra counts for itself, gives itself one mana, so that is alright, eh? All right, making a green, bringing down the evolving wilds, making a green, slamming the evolving wilds, making ourselves another green, why not? And now we can go with the scooty boy, and now we're making ourselves some scooty boys, oh yes, oh yes, and gaining a lot of freaking life. And we do have the Field of Ruin here, so yeah. This turned out to be exactly how I wanted it to. So we can bring down the Field of Ruin and freaking destroy their Faceless Haven. So depending on what they do here, we're super good. We're just super freaking good. I mean, I will just like block here with one of my Scooty Boys if I have to, but we're on 17 life. So this is 10, 13. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that this is the Lupine whatever. But if you're not playing my deck from yesterday, well, tough luck, buttercup. Tough freaking luck, buttercup. So the only thing that could really make this even better, the only thing would be a Sanguine Brushstroke. If we get that, oh my lord. So they ain't gonna attack in here. The game is over. They're locked out. 
Mono Green can do nothing against this situation. Nothing. Arishaya will become so big. Oh, it's going to be brutal. Freaking brutal. Oh my lord, yes. Yes. Give it all to me. Give it all to me. All right, we're making ourselves another green. It doesn't really matter. But I just want as many Scooty Boys as I can. We're shuffling up their deck. Yes. All right. And we're getting the red now. Because we can. Because we can. All right. And then we're just attacking in with the Ashaya. Oh, my Lord. Look at it. We're gaining so much freaking life here. So much. Oh, and I have to push the button every time. Every single freaking time. But I will do it. Like, why shouldn't I do it? All right, how many do we have? Not enough yet. Am I attacking in with the Ashaya? No, I'm not. I am not. So we're one, two, three, four, five, eleven. We're getting, yeah, yeah. We win with the machine gun once more. Oh my lord! How can we win every single game with the machine gun? That is just so uncalled for, a game. So uncalled for. So they play the land here. Kazandu Valley. They should have played the Mammoth, to be honest. Just to have another blocker, you know? You never freaking know. If we can find a Maroc here, oh my lord, I will be so happy. So freaking happy. Oh, they had another Mammoth. All right. Good for you. Good for you, my friend. Oh, the machine gun is ready. Just ready to rock and roll once more. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. This is just so freaking disgusting. So we making if we're putting down the lotus cobra because it's a land i just want to you know have the machine gun go off like freaking crazy like freaking crazy okay i have to push this button every time i don't care i don't care you know me i like to push the button i really really like to okay i want a bajillion triggers on the stack that is what i want okay okay good and good so uh, gameplay. Auto trigger. I think it is this one. Okay. Should be that one. Should be that one. Yes. Okay. Very good. Very good. 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 Now I will turn it off. Oh no, come on! Oh, come on! I just had the machine gun ready. I even went into the. Oh, come on! Oh, come on! Oh man, just scooping here. I, I had to, have, come on, I had the machine gun ready. I wanted a bajillion triggers. Oh, I would have gotten so many shots. And I knew it was the Lupine Harbingers, didn't I tell you? Oh my lord, get out of here. Get out of here. All right, we have time for one more game. One more game. Court 6, or Court 6, or Court 6. We're going first. Can we find a land? Can we find a land? I don't like this hand. This hand is way better. It is way freaking better. We do have the Evolving Wilds. We do have the Valakut. So I will go with the Haunted Ridge first. I think I'm going to throw away the Ancient Green Warden here. Because it costs more than the Ashaya. And once we use the Evolving Wilds, it will just get shuffled back into our library. So we can find it. We can. We keep in six here. Goodbye, Ancient Green Warden. Go with you on the rig. If we don't find a land here, I will be playing the Evolving Wilds. But if we do find a land, well, we're good. Well, I didn't. Didn't find it. Did not find it. And it's angels. There we are. It had to happen sooner or later, you know? Had to freaking happen sooner or freaking later. Good. What are we getting ourselves? Another black. Because let's be honest. With the Valakut exploration we will find lands. The Ashaya makes our stuff green. Okay. So we just have to hope that we find land here. If we get land screwed now. Oh that's going to be painful. Really really freaking painful. Really painful. So I really hope we don't get land screwed. That is like the worst thing that could happen here. We need like two lands in a row now. I hope it happens. I just hope it happens. So, they didn't get land screwed. Okay. 
I, I was just hoping that maybe they didn't have a land. But they just have... Oh my lord, yeah. Yeah. Perfect freaking start for them. Our machine gun will not do too good here. Not do too good. Alright, the field of ruin. Very nice. Very, very nice. So we go with the double here. Please don't be a land. Good, good. It's not a land. We're shooting them for one. And that is very good. So, a worst case, we'll just field of ruin here, their faceless haven, if we don't find a land. And then with the Valakut exploration, oh gosh, oh gosh. There goes our Metok Massacre. Maybe they're getting rid of the Ashaya, who knows? But I think they fear the Metok Massacre more. At least I would. But you know, all we need is a Metok Massacre for, like, one. And then we're good. Then we're super good. Alright, here's even the land! Sadly, the wrong freaking color. So we have to do this now. But it's alright. Our Valakut is still looking A-OK. -okay. And we're getting a green. And I mean, very soon we will still pop off like there is no tomorrow, you know? Still pop off. Oh no, that is a little bit painful. That is indeed a little bit painful. Alright. We're bringing down another Scooty Boy. Good. Very, very good. So, next turn, if we find another land, we can play the Ancient Green Warden. If we don't, we can at least play the Ashaya. I mean, they're still getting in for a lot of damage here. And if they have the Captain, that would also be bad. But you know, we can always pull the trigger here and play the freaking Metok Massacre. Because all of our freaking lands... Oh, come on. The double. Really? The double here. That, that was bad. That was just bad. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Okay. That is good. That is actually good. So, we can still pull the trigger here if we need to. We can still freaking do it. And do we do it? Do we freaking do Oh, we can't. We can't. Oh, we're super dead, aren't we? Yeah, we're super freaking dead here can do this for one, which isn't enough. Which is nearly enough. So all we can do now is pray. All we can do now is freaking pray. Yeah. Yeah, it didn't do us any good. Good game. Good game. In the end, they always get you. You know, that was just the second elite spellbinder here. It was just too good. Just too good. Oh, get out of here. You could have just attacked it, you know? If you're already playing like the most annoying deck in the meta right now, at least you could have just attacked in. Get out of here, angels. Screw you, angels. Mmm. Jeez, that was glorious. I freaking love this deck and it worked so well. It did everything it should until the end. The last game we got a little screwed. But I'm having two of these look at your opponent's hand creatures and not finding lands. You know, that was... I mean, if we could have had the Meatook Massacre there, it would have been glorious. Would have been freaking glorious. But they even had the Captain, so... Once more, one of the best decks in the meta right now is Angels in any variation. Losing to that? Not even sad. We got four wins in. That is more than I would have hoped for with this kind of crazy deck. But before we get into the wrap of like chewing gum, I want to thank all of my patrons members, starting as per usual, which is Edward the Great Hardest. Saying thanks to Randy Campbell, John, Chris Stevens, Automaton, Vincent Mage, Vicky White, John Bell, Felipe Rodriguez, C.S. Jeremy, my friends from Mike, Grey Wolf, on Mercy88, Steve O, Jonathan Norton, Empty Bag, Morphe, Luis, Felipe Sanchez Perez, Jerry Tiskevich, Dilly Lindwan, Jose Ceron, Marcario Fresca, Skeleport, Stray Gray, and Court Du, Bandages, Demander, Oran, Jefferson Perito, Simon Blatt, Doc Vorpil, Chad Riverick, Billy Basham, Christian Rudick, Aeon, Jake, the MTG Snake, Nanny Montgomery, Lucas Zimmer, J. Jackson, Ariman, Azek, XV, Chad, and the Trainer, Ruman Ganef, Drake, Al Troll, Hug, Curver, Brian, Don O'Hare. A special thanks to our Gold Span Dragons. Waffles, Randy Kedolti, Jen Human, Simster 65, William White, Rico Colombaroli, Mark Marino, your boy Big Bizzle, Mr. Mod, Damien Tate, James Wade, Monkey Rage, Jack Top, Jeff Smyre, Philp, Raven Chipster, Nerd, Paul English Wool, Anima, uh, Cthulhu and Lettuce, Tellas Fox, Nick Bob, Tim Nowitzki, Odorific, Del Martinez, Kevin Pratt, Matt D, Isaiah MB, Trent Rees, Man's Room, Louis, James Brown, A.N.L. Hale, Timmy, Jeremy Willard, Johan Sanchova, and Tra uh, Joe Travelart. A special thanks to our Nico Bolas, Good Pharaohs, Earl, Chris Katowski, Grandoff, William Smith, Ariel Wolf, The Lacrime, Ryan O'Reilly, Malchija, Quicksendeal, Jonathan Zawa, and Brown Beard the Second. Thank you all so very freaking much for supporting the channel with your hard-earned cash. I really, really freaking appreciate it. 
There's like a lot of stuff that I couldn't do without all of you. I mean, we will have a giveaway very soon, as soon as we hit the 9,000, which I am certain will happen this year. I mean, we're only like 60 people away by the recording of this video. And you will see this video two days after it will be recorded. So we might already be there. So if we are already there, thank you very much. If we aren't, what you waiting for? Check out the Patreon and the membership below every single video. But if you don't have any hard-earned cash, what you waiting for? Subscribe to the channel. It is free. It doesn't cost you anything. And you even get a chance to participate in the freaking giveaway. So it is very, very freaking nice. So yeah, the Minook machine gun worked like a freaking charm. I love it. I love it when this kind of death works. I wish we could have beaten them with the Valakut Exploration. That would have been tasty. Maybe you need four of those to make it really work and even more like enter the battlefield effect and a huge freaking library. Because yeah, you might mill yourself very fast if they have some life gain, you know? If they have some life gain, the Valakut Exploration is not the best, you know? But it is very good to get yourself some advantage. So yeah, a very, very nice deck. I enjoyed it very much. I wish we could have beaten them with the Maroc. In the end, we could have gotten them with a very mi big Mitchell mas Massacre machine gun. Sadly, did not happen. But hey, what am I supposed to do about it? They scooped before we ever had a chance to show our machine gun. So thank you all so very freaking much. It is uh, almost Christmas. Tomorrow is the 24th, which in European countries is Christmas already. So yeah. I will, like, be here from the past and everything, so, uh, yeah, make sure to tune in tomorrow in the Christmas video. I'm Max Malone, and I will see you all tomorrow.